Hello. Hi, everyone. Good day. Out garage sailing. Some car footage again. I'm trying to get as much car footage as I can in these videos. Um, we just went to this trailer park. Low battery already. That's not good. Trailer park right behind us. Um, we were at a garage sale. I've been to it before. And the guy said, are you still interested in that Super Nintendo? And I was like, yeah, you told me about it like six months ago. You never called me. So I am still interested. Well, we called his mom. We drove all the way to the trailer park where his mom lives and picked it up for 25 bucks. Just got this really nice box. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. Actually, it's, it's filthy. It, but it smells like animals. It's, it's There might really be bad. a pee, pee that had been made in this box, but we got all different types. There's, there's three copies of Mario World, Mario RPG, Turtles in Time, all good stuff. Yoshi I'll show you, show you later. There's a car behind me. We just uh, checked out our Cash America, didn't find anything there, but at a garage show right before that, Jeremy picked up a friggin' sweet, like new, with the tag, Turtles Lunchbox. The thermos and the cardboard that's inside of it. Yeah, it's never ever been used, the cardboard is still in there. Uh, he did pay 20 bucks for it, took a little bit of like a gamble, yeah. but it's such, such a nice, really condition. nice condition. Um, and then I picked up three games, we got Sonic and the Secret Rings, this is a different garage sale. Uh, a disc only for Mario Kart, but I have cases at home. And then a copy of Mario Kart on the DS. It was basically going to be in five bucks a game. Um, that was a one situation. Hey, calm down. Ambulance has got to be so loud. Um, it was weird because the guy said... It was actually a kid. It was a 10-year-old kid. And he's like, normally uh, these go for about $50 a piece. And I was like, mm, no. no, they don't. A lot of times the kid will say the opposite. They'll say, like, oh, these are like 50 cents, I guess. I'm like, no, 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 these are worth more. This time I was like, no, these are worth way less than 50 a piece. So uh, his dad ended up being like, uh, no, how about you take like five bucks, you know, a piece for him. So that's what we agreed on, 15. Still out, garage sale, and going to be meeting up with someone hopefully in a little bit to pick up some things as well. There's a sale right behind us. I'm not sure if you guys can see. I can't really see with my sunglasses on. Um, just picked up few games and a nice set of Skylander stuff for a total of $15. We got uh, Skylanders with the... Mario Galaxy. Hold on, hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Big old bag of Skylanders figurines and the portal. Mario Galaxy. You can say them. Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2, Left 4 Dead 2, GTA 5 with the installed disc only. It's on the floor now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just the installed disc, but I might have the actual play disc at home. She said that she also had a bunch of like Game Boy games and some other stuff that I gave her my number. I need to text her. I just remember that. Uh, and she said that uh, she'll ask and see if they're available for sale later on today. And I got Gumby for a quarter. Oh, Gumby. We're doing the Jeremy's Dad recap. Yep. And uh, he picked up a Mario backpack for how much? Two bucks. Two bucks. Legos for five. Legos. All different types in there. A little fancy storage holder. Uh, a Chucky. Chucky doll. Not the type of Chucky you hate. He hates uh, Child's Play Chucky. But uh, Rugrats Chucky, I guess, is okay then. That's a buck. And he, he picked uh, Powerpuff Girls, uh, Chemical Extraction, and then Pokemon Stadium on the N64. Those were five bucks each. Mm -hmm. And then this was actually something that Jeremy picked up uh, while we were garage selling for how much? Three dollars. Three bucks, and we both thought of classic Contagious Gaming when yeah. we saw it, because he loves the old Commodore, Atari stuff, all that. It's still in the box, the manual, paperwork, styrofoam, really nice condition. Uh, and then he got an Obama Chia head, <laughs> that was a buck. All right, so I guess that's about it. Of course, I'll go inside and show you all that stuff that was in the Super Nintendo box, and then some other stuff I got this week. I was thinking, you don't get to say much on camera, or you don't really talk that much on camera, so real quick, I'm just going to ramble, ramble off some questions for you, and you just got to answer them, all right? All so right. what's your favorite color? Blue. What's your favorite food? Pizza. Uh, what's your favorite game series? Mario. Um, have you ever been to the moon? No. All right, I guess that's good enough. There, now you guys know a little bit more about Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> anyways, oh, my phone's ringing. I think that's the guy I'm supposed to meet up with, but we'll say bye to you guys. Goodbye. Bye. Where are you? Bye. Oh, there you are. All right, bye. I told you I had someone that I was going to be meeting up with, and he just pulled up, actually, as Jeremy was leaving. State your name. Hi, I'm John from the UK, near London. He just drove all the way from the UK, guys. It was pretty amazing. Big drive. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, he's on vacation, staying up in the Orlando Kissimmee area. 
came down. Um, this is just something he wanted to show me. It was the uh, Star Wing competition cart. Basically, Star Fox, you know, obviously in North America. We had the same uh, thing. This is the European version. Low battery. There we go. Um, but uh, I think he just bought this, brought this to just show me. Uh, because he actually won the competition at the store, uh, and then you took this home. I managed to get it. Yeah, yeah, he's like, <laughs> <Around the mountain. laughs> can, can I have that game? And they're like, yeah, sure, you can have that. So he got this, but he did bring a bag of stuff that I am going to attempt to buy from him, uh, since he drove all this way also. Um, and then, I don't know, we're, uh, we're going to do something. I'm not sure what we'll do. But anyways, the battery's about to die, so I at least wanted to get this clip. So that was John from the UK. This is the fourth guest today in the garage sale video. It's Katie. We had Jeremy and Jeremy's dad, and then John from the UK, and now Katie. She is, of course, playing Final Fantasy, so uh, she'll be here for the entire video. Don't mind her, the side of her head. Um, I didn't get a chance to take my nap today, so I'm a little sleepy little out of it. Uh, John was over for about two and a half hours or so. We were just talking about video games the whole time. He had uh, driven a pretty long way to get here, so I wanted to hang out at least, you know, have a decent conversation. Plus, I bought some stuff from him, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I guess, of course, we'll just jump right into the random game giveaway uh, for this week. And uh, since Katie's here, you know, I'll let the cat take a break. I'm just going to do the drum roll on <laughs> Katie's head. So... The winner of the random game on whatever system they want is X Stone Demon. Congratulations, there's like the number three is in there a bunch. Thank you for watching, um, and just send me a personal message either here on YouTube or on the Facebook fan page, and the link to the fan page is in the About section down below. Um, does your head hurt? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, and let me know what system you want the random game to be for and your shipping information. I will get uh, a game mailed out to you very soon. Um, and as always, there is a game giveaway this week as well. Um, you have until Friday at midnight Eastern Standard Time each week to enter the game giveaway. And it's always announced on that Sunday. All you have to do to enter, let's see if Katie can guess. What is it? Thumbs up. You have to thumbs up. That's one of them. You also have to be subscribed. And then you have to leave a comment down below. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, so just do that. Be subscribed. Thumbs up the video. Leave a comment down below. A comment can be about whatever. But this week's suggestion is, is there anyone else in your house that plays video games besides yourself? So you got like a brother, a sister, wife, husband, uh, grandma, whatever. And do you guys like fight over playing? Is there, you know, do you like play together? Is she always taking up the TV? Things like that. Um, so that can be your suggested comment for this video. We have two TVs. We do have two TVs, but only one right here is HD. Anyways, um, so blah, 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 blah. Subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment down below. You're entered in for the random game giveaway. On to, hey, look, it's an old kitty. Say hi. That's an old kitty. <laughs> <laughs> um, on to this uh, awesome Super Nintendo bundle that we got. Um... I think I kind of told the story, but the longer version, I guess, is we went to a garage sale that I've been to many times, and basically from that sale was told, hey, go over to this other house on the other side of town uh, and um, knock on the door, and she will sell you the box of Super Nintendo games that's there. And uh, he, he basically said, if they were here, I'd give them to you for free. He didn't really have a price in mind or didn't really care, but he's like, she's going to want something for them, you know, monetary-wise. So I was like, he's like, just make an offer, whatever, and uh, go pick them up. So I was like, shoot, that sounds great. So um, you saw briefly, you know, the pile of games on top. This is the Super Nintendo. It was the dis most disgusting, nasty-ass Super Nintendo I have ever come across. Uh, multiple layers of dirt and grime and shit. Uh, surprisingly not that yellow, just the front controller ports are yellowed and the uh, power and reset buttons are a little brownish purple instead of just you know purple um, but I cleaned it all up it works fine it came with a power cable but the cow power the cower cable power cable did not work um, I tried screwing around with it I thought maybe like it was just corroded or something could not get it to, to work at all so that kind of sucked but the system does work came with two controllers, one super pad and one original uh, Nintendo brand controller, and just the coaxial hookup. But the games 
are what made this $25 purchase fantastic because there are a lot of good games here in no particular order. We're just going to run through them. Uh, we're back, a Dinosaur Story, Mortal Kombat Trace, Toy Story, Killer Instinct, Mario All-Stars, Tom and Jerry, uh, Lemmings, which I actually did not own the Super Nintendo version of Lemmings, so I'm hanging on to that one. I still need to clean off some sticker residue, but the label's in nice shape. We have one, two, three copies of Mario World, and they all work. Um, I'm always curious to why someone has this many copies of, like, either Duck Hunt or Mario Bros or Mario World or whatever. And uh, I have a feeling that either at one time there were multiple systems, maybe multiple kids, or that maybe the save battery in one of them went dead and they bought another one at another time. Uh, then we have the uh, Great Circus Mystery starring Mickey and Minnie, uh, F-Zero, Donkey Kong Country. These games were filthy as well, just like the system. Katie loves, what did you say? What was it? F-Zero. No, what? I loved F-Zero. Oh, well, I thought, yeah, and Donkey Kong Country. Oh, yeah. yeah Donkey I was testing them all out earlier, and she's like, Donkey Kong Country? Yay. And she just stares at the screen. We can play together. We could, yes. Um, a lot of the labels on these are not in the best of shape. Like, you can see this one has some peeling there, where the actual the top part of the layer is gone. Um, then we have Yoshi's Island, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, a little bit better than the regular copy. Every collection ever, I'm talking to you. Okay. Yeah, every collection ever, Katie, in case you didn't know, needs a copy of Zoop on the Super Zoop? Nintendo. Zoop. It is incredibly not a good game. Um, not worth your time. <laughs> then we have Paperboy 2. The last two are the best two that were in here. Um, sad that the label's pretty rough on this one, but uh, I almost said Paper Mario. Mario RPG, uh, and you can see the chunks out of it right there. Uh, but fabulous, fabulous game. For those that maybe don't know, especially younger viewers, um, a company that helped make this game was Square, the people that were behind the Final Fantasy series. So uh, if you like, yeah, the Final Fantasy games, those people. Um, so if you like the older Final Fantasy games, this is one hell of a good RPG to pick up. And then, last but not least, Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Um, this is funny because Jeremy, like, what was it, three weeks, four weeks ago or so, in an episode, we had gone to a local game shop and he picked up uh, Turtles in Time as part of a, some trading credit that he had, and I think he got it for 60 So when he saw it, he was like, God damn it! Of course, of course, like a month later, we find That's out a grouchy. That's a really good impression of him. It was, actually. It was a good... <laughs> he goes a little high-pitched sometimes. Uh, so that was the Super Nintendo hall. Also in the Super Nintendo box, there was a disgusting, actual, like, rusted PS1 controller. But then there was this PS1 controller, which I did not have in my collection. It's like a see-through smoke black one. I collect all the different controller variants, color variants, and stuff like that. So this was pretty nice to uh, find and add to the collection. Um, the only other thing from Garage I don't think you guys saw today that I picked up was a copy of... This is a dollar. Lost in Blue, Shipwrecked on the Wii. This sale, probably been to five times, and we, I normally get there as he's setting up. And are you, are you leaning on me? <laughs> um, I normally get there, he's setting up. His stuff is like, I think he throws a tarp on it, uh, you know, overnight, and it just it gets all mildewy and gross, and, and the dew from the morning is just soaking through everything. So I normally don't dig through everything, because I'm like... He's like, oh, there could be games in here. I don't know what I have. I guess he gets new stuff all the time. But surprisingly, this was sitting on top of a box, and he only wanted a buck for it. I actually did not own this in my collection, so I'm going to hang on to Lost in Blue for a dollar. Uh, you already saw the Sonic and the Secret Rings and a couple Mario Kart games there. Um, I then... We, we showed you the Skylanders bundle. I was supposed to go possibly pick up some more stuff from her, but unfortunately, uh, she can only find a couple of the items, like a Game Boy SP and a DS, and she said, let her you know, search a little bit more, because they're just about to move, and the stuff is already packed away in a box, but they're only moving like a couple miles away, so once they get there, like in a few days, she'll unpack and let me know. 
Um, I did other oh, stuff I got from uh, John. Uh, he actually, there was a copy in the Super Nintendo games that I got. There was a copy of, oh shit, I just forgot what it was. I think it was Thunder Spirits. Yeah. Um, and he took that as part of a trade and cash deal. I bought stuff from him. So I got Mercs, a complete box, PAL version. I mean, obviously it'll still play the games, but uh, this is like the PAL box and the system is on the back, you know, says European stuffs. Uh, of a yellow, <laughs> stop laughing at me, a yellow Game Boy Pocket in very, very nice condition. Um, that'll go in my collection of many, 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 many handhelds. Um, then we have, these three are ones that I didn't have for my collection that I'm keeping. Flicky, James Pond 2, codenamed Robocod, and Chuck Rock. All these are complete in really, really good condition. He was a uh, unique collector in the sense that it, he had stuff from Japan, stuff from America, stuff from Europe, um, and he, it kind of just seemed like there, I don't know, there's there's like maybe a rhyme and reason for him, but it was like one game he might have the Japanese version, maybe because it was like cheaper, easier to come by, um, but he actually had a, a pretty large collection that he's now dwindling down because uh, of just space and I guess how much time he feels he's actually going to ever be able to play them. Um, which is definitely uh, an important factor. Um, then there was Silent Hill, a complete black label copy, um, Metal Gear Solid, and uh, King of the Monsters, I almost said War of the Monsters, and a complete copy of Crew Ball, even with like the sticker and everything in there. Um, so thank you very much, John. Ended up being, it was like 90 bucks for everything. Um, and then... The, oh no, I have two more things to show you guys. Uh, this was some stuff that Jeremy picked up for me. Like he had called me, he was on vacation, and he went to a little like flea market and he picked these three sealed Atari Lynx games. Now that's a that's a, a thing that doesn't matter <laughs> to say sealed Atari Lynx games because there's only a couple of Atari Lynx games that are even like hard to come by or worth money. You can go on eBay and buy a lot of different Atari Lynx games factory sealed for like five bucks, some even lower than that. So um, these are ones that I didn't have for my collection, though. So we have Zybots, uh, Chips Challenge, and Super Squeak. And uh, basically, they ended up being, I think, they were like $8 or something a piece. So actually, either right at eBay <laughs> price for these or whatever. But like I said, I didn't have them. And they were sealed, and they are in, in, in nice shape, so whatever. There was no shipping involved. Uh, so thank you, Jeremy, for picking those up for me. Um, and then the last thing is, is just a stack of Earthworm Jim figurines. And, oh wait, and there's something else, dang it. Maybe you can, get, you can see it. There's a Super Nintendo controller in the box up here. I picked that up, and then these Earthworm Jim figurines at the same time um, at Josh's store. Uh, the Earthworm Jim figures belonged actually to Game Barn Bob. On my channel there's old barn videos of a massive gaming uh, and toy collection. It wasn't really a collection because he just sells, so he wasn't collecting them, but uh, some of these were actually in that barn, and I always had passed on them because I think at the time he wanted like 10 bucks a piece, and there was only ever like two, and I was hoping to find more because he said there's more in there. Um, so these have been in his storage, uh, not at the barn, but a different place for a while. So I got five different figurines. Battle Damage, uh, Earthworm Jim. If you've never seen those barn videos, which I'd be surprised because they're some of the most watched videos on my channel, I'll link uh, the first barn video in the About section down below so you can check it out. And then from there, each one is linked beyond that. There's like four videos. We have uh, Psycho, uh, Princess, what's her name? I'm gonna, I know I'm going to drop these. I'm going to try really hard not to drop them. Uh, Earthworm Jim, the uh, Stop It. She's trying to make me drop them. Uh, special deep sea mission suit. I'm gonna kick your butt. And last but not least, Bob and number four. So these, like I said, these are ones that I wanted for my collection, uh, and I've had my eye on for a while. And the only other thing was that at the same time, so I picked up that those from Bob, and then at uh, Josh's store, I bought the Super Nintendo controller, also from Bob, and then I got this box and manual from. Josh, uh, Wrecking Crew, I have the game and I actually have the manual too, um, 
but now it'll be a complete copy. And you know what, guys? I think that's it. I think that is the end of this garage sale journey this week. Another really good day, another nice bundle uh, of old goodies. So just uh, don't forget, be subscribed. Nope, that's not the right thing. Be subscribed. There you go. I told you I was tired. Thumbs up the video and leave a comment down below. And uh, Katie, do you have anything to say? It smells like old lady house in here now. It does. It does smell like old lady house. These Super Nintendo games had definitely old lady funk all over them. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.